Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is something um, really exciting for me and really should be exciting for you if you like Once Upon a Time. Um, Once Upon a Time is this great new movie, like it's not a movie, it's a like a sitcom, kind of. I mean, it's like a weekly television show, essentially, where you're living through the lives of fairy tale characters that have come to live in the real world. And they come and go into the other realities and such and like but the the whole point i believe it's disney based um so you know they have a little bit of leeway but it was really cool is that you meet all these characters and they have totally different stories than we're used to so i digress my favorite character always forever has either been snow white or the evil queen and i've always felt really bad for villains for some reason like i've always had this thing for villains i feel like they become that way for a reason and that's part of like the appeal of them so today i'd like to do a makeover to look like lana paria's hope i got it right she could tell me if i didn't um her evil queen which is an amazing feat in my opinion of like really they put together like beauty and power and and innocence and pain and like all of these things they've done a really great job with the character and I have nothing but good to say about it um, so yeah so I'm gonna post a little picture of the look we're gonna do it's one of the original looks from the series um, it's pretty basic if you know how to do makeup however if you get it wrong the intensity will be all wrong and it'll look kind of crazy so let's get started Okay, so we're going to start by putting on some liquid concealer all over the face. You're going to put it on under your eyes, on the top of the nose, on your chin, and on the forehead. If you have any blemishes like I do, make sure you cover those up. This will give you a really good blank canvas to do all the contouring that you have to do. If you go around the eyebrows, you can shape them with the concealer. It will hide any extra little hairs that you haven't gotten to take away yet. And then you're going to put your foundation on a brush and blend it in all over. Now you're going to put contouring on. This is a Makeup Revolution palette with a contour, highlight, and a blush that works with my complexion. You might have to try different ones to see what works for you. You're going to suck in your cheeks so you can see where the underside of your cheekbone is, and you're going to put contouring there. This is a very dramatic look, so you're going to want to look as sharp and defined as possible. Put a little bit under the lip if you want a fuller look. Now her blush is underneath the cheekbone. It's not necessarily on it. It's like on and under. It's not above. So you're not putting it on the balls of the cheek like when you puff up like a hamster. You're going <laughs> to you're going to avoid that and you're going to put highlighter on the top of the cheek instead. I put some contouring around the forehead just to slim out my face and make it look taller on my forehead. So here's the highlighter goes on top of the cheekbone. I'm going to put it down the nose, a little bit on the forehead, and some on the chin. Now for the eyes, you're going to start with white on the waterline. When you look at the picture, you can see there's a very light white line. They've made her eyes look bigger by doing this. Now on the outside, you're going to put the black and right away it's going to look kind of gray because you're mixing with the white so this is kind of a base layer i'm going to put a liquid liner next to it and don't worry if it kind of smudges or looks a little bit odd because you're going to go over this again later once it's all dry Make sure not to wing out for this look because there is no eyeliner wing. Uh, instead, just go to the corner of your eyes. You can touch up right now with any white if it's come off your waterline. So the next point, you're going to be picking out a silver to put on your eyelids. I took just kind of a general silver off the Makeup Revolution London palette. You can see it has a lot of glitter and sparkle in it, and that's what you want. You're next going to take a light white that has glitter and sparkle and do it on just the inside corner of the eye, which is going to brighten up everything a little bit. So on a, a very defined brush, I'm putting the red that we want to put on, and it's just going to be from the edge, under the brow bone, and into the crease. 
you don't want to put too much because it can ruin the entire look and make everything look like you're kind of like you're sick or like you have a fever. So you want to not use too much red. I used a clean brush just to blend it in. And now I'm using just a touch of black to kind of pull it all together and make it look a little bit darker. Now you're gonna need to blend all this together. So on the top, I'm using a peach color without shimmer and I'm just blending it in. Make sure you use a clean brush or else you could be spreading black or silver or other colors all over your face. You can add your red back in if you think you've taken out too much. Once you think you have it right, you're going to go back in with your black pencil and start coloring back over your liner. If you color over your liner again, you can make sure any kind of color or debris that's fallen on it is not there anymore, so it's really defined in black. Next thing is mascara, and you can do as much or as little as you like. In the picture, she's wearing uh, false eyelashes on the outside edges of the eyes, potentially the entire eye. It doesn't look like they're not natural in the middle, so I would say they're mostly the out outside edges. Um, you can do this with Unique. You can do this with a number of you know, Maybelline or Rimmel types of mascara that you can get over the counter. Um, it just takes time to build it all up. Now with the lips, she has a little bit of a black liner. Um, it's very hard to tell. Um, so I just put a little bit on and a little bit on the inside where it looks darkest. And then I'm using a really nice reddish purple lipstick that I got at Superdrug. And it came in a kit that was known as the Vampires, like vamp colors. So, you know, if you want to go check it out, go look for that. It's called Freedom. I think it's from Makeup Revolution. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the original eye color over it. Um, and I just kind of keep using different products, different dark shades. That was from a Freedom line as well. And then I have a dark gloss that I put over it to make everything look shiny. Now the next thing is your brows. You're going to want to make them really dark and defined. She has very high arch um, and a pointy edge. And this is really a villain look. You know, it's up to you. Just make your eyebrows darker. So I hope you like the look and you think it looks like it's meant to. Um, show me what you do. Love to see it. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.